Gentlemen, Antonio here. All right, today we're gonna to talk about sleep, specifically how you can use these five tips to get more and better sleep every single night. Guys, look around you. People are walking around like they're zombies. I mean, literally, I was just reading some of the data. The average American is getting less than seven hours, in some cases, six to five hours of sleep, depending on what industry and you know, depending on what study you look at. But guys, that is well below what most people need. And you've probably heard eight hours of sleep. Well, that's an average. Some people, and very few of them, need as few as six hours, five hours. Most people need about eight, if not a little bit more. Me personally, I am a selfish sleeper. I like to get at least eight hours. I would prefer 10 hours of sleep. And many of you guys are also thinking, Antonio, how am I gonna be able to cram more things into my day? Go check out this other video I've got on the priority matrix. Most likely you're staying busy with things which aren't giving you much return on investment. In addition, I'm gonna give you four more tips to the five tips I'm about to dive into over here at the support article at Real Men Real Style. So again, go check out the support article. I'm gonna to link to the, the research and I'm gonna give you more tips. I'm gonna go into more details there. But you guys are here for the five tips. So number one, prioritize sleep. I alluded to it, but sleep affects your mood, it affects your memory, it affects your physical performance. In fact, go look at the routines of the top athletes in the world and you're gonna see that they nap, they sleep, they are selfish sleepers. I was just talking to my friend Ben Greenfield and this guy over in Spokane, Washington, he talks about how he gets about 10 hours at least and it's a priority. And this is a guy with kids and I'm gonna talk about barriers here in a second, but I've got four kids. I understand that some of you guys also are law students. Perhaps you are working two jobs. You're like, Antonio, where am I gonna find it? Guys, understand that lack of sleep, it's gonna shave years off of your life. And you may be working hard now, but what if you can't enjoy it, what's the point? Also think about weight gain. Think about you know just the overall health of your body. If you don't prioritize sleep, nobody else is gonna prioritize it for you. And when you have a family, I know for me, the biggest barrier, I've got four kids. I have a wife who has a very different sleep schedule than me. Because of that, I had to set up systems in my life, which I'm gonna get into here in a second. But the point is, is it is a priority and therefore with my kids, we've set up a routine. I try to set up systems that protect me, enable me to get at least what I feel I need for a minimum. Because if I don't, I'm not gonna perform well at my company. So number one, prioritize it. Number two, let's look at your food. So a lot of you guys are just shooting yourself in the foot because you're drinking coffee all day. And you know, okay, don't drink coffee right before you go to bed but did you know it sticks in your system for 6 to 14 hours after you drink it my personal rule no coffee no caffeinated drinks or anything after noon in addition let's think about alcohol so some of you guys like to drink maybe like a couple glasses of wine before going to bed be, try to do move that a little bit earlier. The issue with alcohol is it can help you fall asleep, but the second half, the deep sleep, is what it interferes with. So alcohol can have a very negative effect. Now, if you are used to drinking just a glass of wine with dinner, that's probably good to go. Now, what foods actually help you sleep better? Well, I've done a little bit of, you know, quite a bit of research on this, and I think it's, uh, what is it, tryptophan? Actually, and tryptophan can be found in eggs, uh, it's gonna be found in uh, cheeses, it's going to be found in turkey and chicken and nuts and things like that. But this right here, this is going to increase the amount of serotonin levels in the brain. And this supposedly helps with sleep. So eating foods like that, uh, really, you know, for dinner and not having a huge dinner, you don't want to eat a lot of spicy food that you're not used to eating because then you're going to have a stomach ache and you wake up in the middle of the night. So number three, having a bedtime routine. With four kids, this is incredibly important. I can tell you guys it takes 90 minutes for us to go to bed. And I'm very realistic about that. When I'm not realistic, when I think I can get everyone to bed in less than 30 minutes, most of the time I fail and I get frustrated and all of a sudden it's 9.30, 10 o'clock at night and it's just not going very well. I know some of you guys don't have kids, you've got, you know, but if, but if you are studying, don't save your studying till that last moment. You are not gonna help yourself by cramming all night the night before and going into that test without any sleep. So take it from me, I've gone through all that. You need to start preparing on day one. Number four, create the right environment. So 
you want to have a nice bed. I can tell you guys I'm testing a bed and a mattress. I'll get into that at a later video at a later point. But over the last two years, I've been using quality sheets, quality comforters. Uh, I've set an environment that when I get into my bed, I look forward to getting into my bed. Sure, I've got a beautiful woman in there with me, but it helps when you've got great sheets, when you've got a comforter. That's just wonderful. I want you guys to go check out my friend Steve over at Vero Linens. An amazing company. Guys, you know, I, I'm not getting paid for this. I've just been using his sheets for a couple years. I love them. And what I really like about this is he actually goes directly. I mean, he, he, he skipped the middleman. He gets his stuff out of Italy. I mean, this is really high end sheets. But when you lay in something like this, you're going to notice the difference. Think about it. You go to a hotel. Have you ever guys been to a five, four star hotel? You get into that bed and you're like, man, I could stay here all day. Why don't you have that at home? You spend one third of your life in your bed. Have a great mattress. Invest in, you know, one thing I didn't even know about comforters till I went over and I, I started following Steve's YouTube channel, which I'm going to link to right here. A great YouTube channel, very informational. But I didn't realize there were different levels of down feathers and a lot of them smell really bad and they're more susceptible to being uh, infected by mites and things like this. So you want to go with a higher quality down comforter which isn't going to just last you one year and after one cleaning fall apart. You want something that's going to retain its shape that can be cleaned multiple times and can last you about five years. Number five, if you allow electronic devices into your room, you're setting yourself up for failure. The phone, get yourself an alarm clock. Don't use this. You will get notifications. You will forget that you signed up for this new app and it's sending notifications all night right before your exam. Gentlemen, get rid of the smartphone in your room. Get rid of your tablet. Get rid of the computer. I don't even have a television in my house. You know why? Because I've set up a system that I spend more time with my kids and I'm sure, I sure as heck would not allow it into my bedroom. So be very careful about the electronic devices you allow in your room. Gentlemen, those are the five tips. You want more information, go check out the article at Real Men Real Style. I go into a lot more there. Let me know in the comments how many hours of sleep you get a night and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.